In the past week, government troops have vacated at least three army bases near the capital, Mogadishu. These soldiers argue that they haven't received their salaries, some for as long as four months. Troops pulled out of Balat this week, an agricultural district 30 kilometers north of Mogadishu, in protest of a missed payment. Al-Shabaab later seized the town, causing panic in the capital. The group later pulled out after destroying a security outpost in the area. Army chief has now warned that soldiers who abandon their outposts risk losing government benefits. Every soldier who's been registered and those who are going to be registered in the coming days must remain in their military unit or base designated by the government. If one abandons his or her post with no valid reason, then the soldier will lose their benefits. Mogadishu insists on the use of biometric registration to create a database for its armed forces. Registered soldiers were reportedly paid, prompting those not registered to vacate their garrisons. Somali says it has registered close to 10,000 army personnel in its database and the process is still ongoing. The allowances of our soldiers used to be paid by several countries, among them USA, Turkey and UAE. Since taking office, we stop that and pay them from taxes collected by the government. We have begun reforms to the army, and therefore we have created a biometric system that ensures all payments are made directly to bank accounts for every soldier. Currently, defense spending takes huge chunk out of the budget. Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khaira says the security sector reforms in his country has forced his administration to allocate more funds towards strengthening security. In 2017, the Somali government allocated $89 million for stipends and logistics to the National Army. That figure has since increased to $102 million last year, with $107 million allocated so far this year. Experts argue that reforming the National Army is a tough challenge, but one aimed at ensuring national security in the long run. For now, the Somali government heavily relies on security support from the African Union force known as AMISOM, but it will have to invest more in strengthening its own national army as the UN plans to wind down the decade-long African Union mission in Somalia. A government delegation has since been dispatched to resolve the matter. A move analysts say will allow authorities to focus more on the fight against Al-Shabaab. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.